hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're just gonna jump straight into this tutorial i'm doing this tutorial on unicorn hair so right here i'm just taking the color periwinkle from a door and i'm just gonna mix that in with some conditioner so after you're done combing out your front so you're gonna take your brush i got this brush from my local beauty supply store and you're just gonna mix in the color and condition together so you get a, like a pretty good consistency. I mix my conditioner and everything together because I want the color to be a little lighter. Like I don't wanna just be straight dye. So that way if I have to go back in and make it darker, I can. And also just to add a little bit more moisture to the hair because I know this hair has been stripped a lot being 613 hair. Now I did leave out a very, very important step before you start applying the color to your um, frontal wig. When I first finished all, you know, putting my frontal wig together and everything, I flipped my wig inside out and sprayed only the frontal part. I sprayed only the lace part of the frontal with the um, got to be free spray. And that's just to help like protect the lace from getting stained and you know, from everything from seeping through. So that when you apply it onto your head or to someone else's head, it'll still look like a regular scalp. And yeah, so you're just gonna go in and finish applying everything, starting from like root to however far you want this first color to go. And then that's about it. I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video. Now I did apply this first color layers at a time because I didn't just want to use the whole bottle in one section or whatever. I made about maybe three bowls of the color since I did the like the top part of the hair, of the hair just to like get it fully saturated and make sure I got it on each side evenly and throughout the top part of the front so really evenly. So don't be afraid if you have to, you know, break down your hair up application in parts or three parts or however many parts as long as you know you take your time on it it's going to come out exactly how you want it Next, you are gonna go in with the color sky blue. And this is really, you're gonna start from where you see the white peeking out from underneath that first color to where it meets the rest of the white. Now, do not put this all the way down at the ends because you're gonna save that for the third color application. But you're gonna basically do the same thing with the sky blue that you did with the first color periwinkle. Mix that with conditioner. Make sure it's really thoroughly mixed together, you know, get it to the way and the consistency that you want and then just start applying.
as you can see right here you're going to have to start taking parts of the hair and like separate it to open up to get really deep into the hair because being that this hair is thick and everything for one the hair is going to take a lot longer to like soak up the color because it has been stripped of the naturalness you know the natural color so much but the good thing is, like I said, when you take your time and go through the wig, you're just basically painting the color on. You're just going to paint it on. When the top part is painted, then you're going to go through and start paint, painting underneath the hair. all Just all throughout the wig, basically. And just do that all around until those white spots and whatever is filled in with the color. Basically, like, I don't know if y'all can see this, but you see how this is fading or it looks like it's fading into a, like, um, turquoise color. This is what it's going to be. So, same thing I did with the, um, blue. I'm going to go back and do it with the jade, but this time I'm just going to finish it all around the ends of the hair and bring it all the way down so we can have us a nice ombre wait okay okay
So guys, I want to really apologize for the way I sound in this video. I had a very, very long weekend and I know my voice sounds a little raspy and everything, but yeah, I just wanted to come back and apologize for that. Like I said before, you guys, don't be afraid to get the colors mixed in together. That really won't matter anyway because the object of this is to make it, you know, a unicorn ombre look. So just uh, keep applying your color the way you have before and it should give you a really pretty wig at the end. This is what the color should look like after you finish applying it. If you guys would like to see a frontal wig tutorial, please leave it down below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.